Monday. I am so off my sleep schedule. <laughs> I am like a few, well, more than like a few. I'm like four hours off every day, as in like I'm waking up late and then I'm going to bed late, um, which isn't too much of a problem because it's the summer, but I desperately, just for like my sanity, need to get on a normal sleep schedule um, and get on a whole routine. So that is the big plan for this week is to get back to a normal routine. Um, and of course, writing, which has been going okay. I've slowed down a little the past few days because we've had um, lots of events. We've had people over to hang out and um, yeah, I feel like when Alex is off from work like he is right now, he fills our time, which is fun because it's all social time, but I am admittedly ready for him to get back on his work schedule because mine tends to follow suit and I get more productive when he goes also. So there's that. Today, aside from a little bit of writing and homework, my plan is to take Finn out and do a little bit of school shopping. I told them we'd go look at backpacks. So we're going to do that. Maybe pick up some folders and some other things on the school supply list for this year because he starts pre-K this year. Oh my gosh. I'm still a little reeling from it, but <laughs> we're going to have a pre-K in our house, which is crazy. Oh, lots of changes this year. Finn starts pre-K. Alex got a new job. I think I'm safe to officially say that. He is an assistant principal. Um, and I'm getting a new job. So a lot of change in our life. Kind of tossed everything upside down a tad. Um, yes. <laughs> so oh, now more than ever I need like normalcy. I need the normalcy of a schedule right now. <laughs> Good morning and happy Tuesday. I got up at seven and I had like a solid hour to myself before everybody else got up. So I've been working on homework and a lot of other things. Uh, something I realized last night actually, because I was starting to feel a tad stressed uh, I need to give myself more grace. And this is something that I know, but when I set challenges for myself, like Camp NaNoWriMo and stuff, I tend to go a bit or overboard and uh, bite off more than I can chew. And so I had to change my mindset and just be happy with the progress that I am making. I already filmed this clip, but it was all wonky and I was a little bit discombobulated and rambly, so I'm filming it again. I realized last night that I'm starting to fall into my normal pitfall of like trying to get everything done at once and trying to do too much at once, especially where it comes to like Camp NaNoWriMo and stuff. So I am allowing myself to take some of the pressure off of Camp NaNoWriMo, at least for now, because um, 
I had to remind myself that I am in a transition phase. Normally the summer months are when I get a lot of my writing done, to be entirely honest. And since Finn has grown up and now he doesn't take naps and with the summer months, we're all home and I'm also trying to do classes and I will, I'm not like, I'll be working soon in the fall. I'm starting to feel really pressed for time to do any of my work because I'm also home and everybody is home. And I think we're just kind of all on top of each other right now, trying to get things done. So I am coming to terms with the fact that um, my schedule is getting ready to change. I haven't fully figured out what that change will look like. And there are some things that I need to do first, like setting my schedule, um, getting into therapy things and finishing my classes for that in order to set a schedule for writing. So I am allowing myself to not worry quite so much about finishing my Camp NaNoWriMo goal and just writing when I have the time to in order to take the pressure off. So, so far that has helped. Um, I mean, it's only been like today, but I am doing better. I will say I'm doing better at recognizing when I fall into this pitfall of trying to do everything at once. Um, but I'm still working on balancing more of it. And I know setting a routine and a schedule will do a lot of that for me. And that right now there's just enough moving parts in this transition phase that I haven't been able to set a schedule. So I am just trying to be nice to myself. <laughs> I am getting a lot done, but it, I am moving at kind of a slow pace. I've wrapped my head around classwork and now I got myself a little bit into a spiral thinking about the Kickstarter for Curse of Wings and Darkness. I'm going back and forth with myself a little bit about do I even want to do it because I don't want to include it's just the first book in the series and so I don't want to include a ton of to it like I don't want it to be a great big cam campaign I like super special edition because it's just the first book and this book has not ever been released so will there even be um like a big push for people to buy it or should I just hold off and um eventually do like a collector's edition would that make more sense than this just being the first book out so now I am rethinking my plans. Um, I don't know. I'm doing a bit of research on Kickstarter right now also between stuff like a brain break just to see how common it is for people to put brand new books out on Kickstarter like this but it looks a lot like most of them are special editions of books that already exist or special projects. Um, and not so much like my book, which makes total sense. I, and I kind of knew that going in, but the original idea was to make this kind of a special edition copy of Curse of Wings and Darkness. And I could still do that. I actually think it would be really fun to release um, like another hardback. I didn't think I would ever do sprayed edges again, and I may not, but I could do other special content in a hardcover book um, and just make it a special edition copy of it. I don't know, but that also entails a lot of work. I think I have the paperback book, like book cover done. And so I'm pretty much done with the book, but if I do more, for a Kickstarter project and create a special edition copy of it, that increases the amount of work I'm going to do by quite a bit. And so I don't know. I also thought about creating like a totally different cover for this, but again, I really don't know um, what I'm thinking. So. 
If you guys would like to have a Kickstarter for Curse of Wings and Darkness, let me know down below. If not, then I may just do like a regular release, um, which is a little bit what I'm leaning towards because I'm just worried about my time. So at this point, I don't think I'm going to do the Kickstarter. I think I'm just going to do like a regular release and focus on my ARC team and um, that. So we will see. Who knows? I may get a wild hair and change my mind. We are taking a brain break by walking the backyard. I don't think I'm going to do the Kickstarter, guys, for Curse of Wings and Darkness. I really feel like this book needs to exist in the world before I go back to Kickstarter for that kind of special content. Tell me what you guys think. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do like special edition versions of the series. I think that would be really fun to do another complete omnibus. We will see. It kind of depends on how long this series ends up being. If it's really long, it may end up being just like a collector's version of all the books rather than an omnibus, but who knows? But I really do think that this book needs to exist first before it becomes special edition. I also think that I need to just kind of slow things down and simplify things again in my life and sticking with just the lead up to a book release as I'm transitioning to all of these new things in my life and everybody's job switches and Finn starting school. Basically everything I was just telling you guys about a few hours ago. Um, I think that may be in my best interest. So I think I am just, just going to release Curse of Wings and Darkness as an ebook and the paperback on my normal platforms on Amazon. Uh, put it up on Ingram Spark so it goes wide. And I think I'm just going to stick with that for a little while. So we'll get the series that way. And maybe eventually I'll do an omnibus for that series. I don't know. Um, but for now, I don't think I'm going to worry about Kickstarter. I don't think I'm going to stress about it because it's kind of what I've started to do is just stress about it. <laughs> dressed up today because I am going to talk to my supervisor, potential future supervisor about therapy, LPC things. So I need to go get some things sorted out. I brought my class stuff with me. At least I, I hope I did. I had a brief moment of panic on my way here where I was really concerned that I didn't bring it, but earlier today I had packed it, so I don't know why I panicked. I think I just really, really want things to go well. Um, and that's the anxiety talking in my brain. It's always looking for the what ifs. It's always looking for an escape plan. That's just anxiety. So I dropped off Finn with Alex. He's at a night rehearsal. So Finn is sitting with him while he's running sound um, for rehearsal. And um, I'm gonna go do my thing. It should not take me more than like 30 minutes. I don't even think it'll take 30, honestly. I told him 30, uh, 20 to 30. He said he had time between um, some assessments. And so I'm going to pop in real quick and take like a snippet of his time. Um, just to hammer out a couple details. I need a signature and then I'm like out of there. So we will see how much time it actually takes me. I may come back and pick Finn up or I may just rock it home. 
meet them there. And then I think we're going to do like a late dinner. So oh, pretty nice. Tomorrow we are planning to go to the pool, which is fun. Haven't been there in a little while. Um, and then the rest of the week we are actually, we're taking like a family trip out. Not very far. We're going like a city over and spending some time with friends there Friday and Saturday. So I haven't actually gotten a lot of writing done at all on Trial of Flame and Wings. So just as per usual, Camp NaNoWriMo may be a bust, but it's been fun popping into all of the like the discussions and the events and stuff for Camp NaNoWriMo. And I always like to challenge myself. So it's been kind of fun. But like I've already said in this vlog, I needed to slow things down a little, give myself a little bit of a reality check, and take a look at like what things are really like. Also, since I have a tad bit of time before I jet over there, I was thinking about doing a pre-order incentive for my ebook pre-orders I have right now on Amazon for Curse of Wings and Darkness, the steamy vampire romance. I have some thoughts floating around my head, things like sneak peek at Trial and Flame and Wings, um, a drawing for a $25 Amazon gift card. I thought that was a good one. Um, so my thoughts were that if you pre-order the ebook of Curse of Wings and Darkness and email your receipt to me, your name will be entered into a drawing for a prize. Um, I've never done that before, but I've seen some other authors do it. It seems to work well for them. And since I'm really not focusing on Kickstarter stuff anymore for this book, I would really, really like to focus on like my sales data and the Amazon algorithm, which is something I'm not great at and focus on pre-orders. So I haven't fully hammered out those details or decided. Um, it's definitely one of those things where if you've already pre-ordered, you'd still be eligible. So it's not like you're missing out if I announce this in another week or two, but let me know if you guys have thoughts or maybe something you'd like to see for like something reasonable for a pre-order incentive. I can't purchase like a Kindle or anything, although that would be a bomb ass incentive. If you put, you know, if you pre-order a book and could potentially win like a Kindle Paperwhite, that's badass. <laughs> Um, I don't think we're there though. I would love to eventually be big enough to offer those kinds of things, but ah, alas, maybe another time. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're done. I feel so positive and so excited about this new chapter of my life. I think I could cry. <laughs> I may actually, I may go home and cry. <laughs> I think that for so long, I think I just drag, I think I drug my feet a lot. I think I just waited so long and just sat with my own ins insecurities and fears and anxiety because I, anxiety was a big factor there. I think I sat with that for so long and didn't put myself out there because of that when I should have, that it's just taken me longer to get to the places to get to, to more joy. I've said that a lot. This era of my life is about finding more joy. And if you can do that in all like aspects of your life, including your work life, have at it. And I feel like I'm finally advocating for it. I think that's really what I was doing. I was not advocating for myself and the things I want. And, um, I'm so, so excited about this new adventure. I think I have finally found something that fits me. I really do. And I cannot wait to embark on this new adventure. I'm going to be able to do more writing um, as I go also. Um, I'm writing the things that I enjoy, which I love doing more of that. Um, I'm oh, doing it. Holy, this is the best. <laughs> I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs>
we are home. I, before we left for the weekend, cause we took a weekender trip to see some friends, went and did some fun things as you saw. Before we left, I got my proof copy of Curse of Wings and Darkness in the mail. And there were some things I was not super thrilled on. So let's go through those because I have just hopefully corrected them. I'm not sure, I'm really nervous that I didn't get them fixed the way that I had hoped to. I am also exhausted. So let's take a look at the proof copy and then I'll show you what I did to adjust it and upload it and hopefully get another proof copy soon. So first I thought that the cover was really dark. So I went and I fixed the color profile because the color on the actual image is a little more like of a green color. And so we fixed that. I also shifted the entire cover this way towards the spine, just a tad because I thought it was just a tad off. Um, so there was that on the spine. I'm still not sure exactly if it's just printed funny or not, but my logo here is off. So we shifted that over as well. And on the back, the text is too spread out. So we tightened that up. I actually increased the size on this. And then I changed the font here because I didn't like it. So let me show you guys the cover on my computer screen. So here is how it turned out. I do have the um, brightness turned all the way up on my computer. So you can see on the screen that there's kind of a greeny color back here, which I really like that you don't get in this version. And so hopefully that will come through a bit. If not, I may just have to like up the saturation and then re-upload. Also, there's the back here. I did pick a different font. I picked good old Garamond or Garamond that goes in the interior anyway. So I like the looks of this better. It's a little sharper, less fuzzy looking. Um, so yeah, that's how that turned out. I downloaded everything. Hopefully I have the right color profiles and stuff assigned and uploaded. So this time around, I think I will order a KDP proof. And then I think I'll also order an Ingram Spark proof just to make sure the colors look the same on both copies. But I am quite a bit happier with this version than the way it printed. So there's that. <laughs> I did not sleep amazing. I mean, I did, but I kinked my neck. I slept in the weirdest position because I was so tired. Um, and so I'm a little sore this morning, but at least I slept pretty well. So also in other news, we got a new kitchen table. I think we're gonna reupholster these chairs because I think the chairs look good with this, but I've never been a, a fan of this like the seats of these chairs they just came with our very first house and so we just been living with them we've never reupholstered them and they're definitely beat up so i think that'll be a project that we'll have to work on so fun stuff look at that sad puppy she's sad because she wants to go wake up finn but i want him to sleep just a little bit longer I am going to use this time, while Finn sleeps, use the quiet time to work on editing this vlog. We ended up doing a lot of really fun things this week. Um, no writing happened. <laughs> so I had already like tentatively created the thumbnail for this week or at least the title of it to be my word count for Camp NaNoWriMo. And then I didn't write it all. So 
I'm gonna fix the thumbnail um, and edit the vlog. So that's what we're gonna work on first. Um, I have laundry going already um, and there's not really any dishes to be done. So I kind of think that I'm, I'm like done with chores for right now, which is wild because um, it's a little early for me to be done with chores, but I'm not complaining. I'm gonna use this extra time to sit down and take a look at some stuff. I also think I just need to sit with the quiet. I've been on the move a lot the last few days, physically and mentally. And I think it's kind of clouded my brain. And last night I got a bit stressed about everything I have to do, my schedule. I'm a little bit behind on homework for this class I'm in. And so I think I need like a minute to wrap my head around stuff because this week changes things. This week is when I kind of set, I get back into a schedule at least by the end of the week because I start interning at a therapy clinic, um, which I'm very excited about, really excited to go. Um, that's Thursday. So I have a little bit of time before that, but this next week kind of sets my schedule. Alex kind of goes back full time. We're nearing school time. So everything's starting to get back on a normal schedule. And um, I think I need that. So I'm looking forward to it. But it definitely got to my head last night, trying to put all the pieces together. <sighs> so I could use the quiet time. Finn is up. I am on my second cup of coffee and I haven't even started on the vlog yet, but that is what I am sitting down now to work on. I have it pulled up. So this is where I leave you guys for the week. Thank you for watching. Read books, be kind. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.